हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू द ई लर्निंग सेशंस ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल इंजीनियरिंग माय सेल्फ हार्दिक शाह एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस लेक्चर सीरीज वी विल डिस्कस सम इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ऑटोमोटिव इलेक्ट्रिकल्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अ न्यू चैप्टर एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिंपल वर्किंग ऑफ द डैशबोर्ड लाइट्स एंड इट्स इंडिकेशंस ओके आई होप यू विल सी दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक and gain your skills in automobile engineering so today we will discuss the remaining dashboard lights i also request you to note down any queries which arises during the lecture and ask me it in comment section i will show, try to solve all the queries as soon as possible so now let's start our today's video so traction control warning lights what is that or you can say tcs warning lights so what do you mean by this the traction control system monitors the stability and steering performance of the car okay so it is an very important part of the car's safety and it helps you to have the control while driving okay so the traction control lights comes on when there is something in the car that needs fixing so if you are having the proper control and the tcs is working properly the light does not come on okay so there are numerous reasons as to why this light might come on the first and the most common reason is a fault in the steering system okay or you can say steering angle sensor so the sensor indicates the position of the steering wheel and the rate of its return it is a very important part of your vehicle it is accurately indicates the angle of the steering thereby if there is any fault in the system it actually fails to compute it accurately traction light comes on okay the second reason might be a broken wheel speed sensor okay so in your vehicle there is a constant communication between the wheel speed sensors which actually are which are in a connection with the tlc system and the engine control unit okay there is an individual sensor in every tire and if there is any change in either of the wheels the traction wheel light uh, the traction light will actually come on okay the third reason might be bad condition on the road so when there is a bad condition on the road namely you can say heavy rainfall uh, many path holes uh, ice etc the traction control might come uh, on after the tcs fails to properly handle the condition of the bad road okay the best thing that can be done in such a situation is to slow down your vehicle as there is nothing much you can do in this situation okay uh, then fourth reason might be the problem with the anti lock braking system okay so the anti lock braking system actually and the traction control system tcs both share the same control module and the internal diagnosis system okay thus if there is any issue with the anti lock braking system the traction light might come on okay so the fifth reason might be computer issue you can say ecu problem with the tlc system okay so if all other reasons are ruled out it only means that the problem is in the internal tracking system rather than external causes okay so in such a case the traction light might come on next is windshield washer fluid warning light what do you mean by windshield washer fluid warning lights this indicates the washer fluid of the wiper is low and is in a need to be refilled now modern cars have small tanks which are full of soapy water to help you to keep the windshield clean okay the automakers have made the fluid sensor to let you know if and when you are out of the fluids so once you fill up the fluid the light should go off immediately okay however if the light stays on it might indicate that your car has a faulty sensor so in such a case you must get your sensor checked and if it is faulty get it replaced immediately okay 
नेक्स्ट इज एंजिन इमोबिलाईजर वॉर्निंग लाइट सो वॉट डज एंजिन इमोबिलाईजर वॉर्निंग लाइट मीन एक्चुअली एंजिन इमोबिलाईजर और यू कैन से दिस की सिम्बॉल इंडिकेट्स दैट द कार इज नॉट एबल टू रेकग्नाइज इट्स कीज ओके समटाइम्स इट कुड टर्न ऑन ड्यू टू सम अदर प्रॉब्लम विथ एंजिन इमोबिलाईजर सिस्टम ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द एंजिन इमोबिलाईजर सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इज पावर स्टियरिंग कंट्रोल वॉर्निंग लाइट सो वॉट डज पावर स्टियरिंग कंट्रोल वॉर्निंग लाइट मीन्स नाउ कार विथ एन इलेक्ट्रिक पावर इलेक्ट्रिक पावर स्टियरिंग हैव दिस वॉर्निंग लाइट दिस सिंपली मीन्स दैट देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम विथ योर पावर स्टियरिंग सिस्टम सो वॉट वॉट कैन बी दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो सो डिफरेंट यू कैन नॉट क्लियरली हैंडल द स्टियरिंग इन प्रॉपर मैनर ओके नेक्स्ट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पावर कंट्रोल वॉर्निंग लाइट सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पावर कंट्रोल वॉर्निंग लाइट एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट सेल्फ द इपीसी लाइट टर्न्स टर्न्स ऑन इंडिकेट्स दैट देर आर सम इश्यूज विथ द कार्स इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कंट्रोल सिस्टम ओके दिस लाइट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन अ सिलेक्टेड फ्यू कार्स ओके बिकॉज इट इज वेरी हाई एंड सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम द इपीसी लाइट जनरली कम्स टूगेदर विथ ए बी एस लाइट विच विल एक्चुअली शट डाउन the abs function okay so this was the different lights of the dashboard okay so to save the important parts of your uh, car warning lights also help you in uh, identifying the issues with the different parts of the car okay such as tires brakes engine abs airbags etc so if you ignore this signs you will not be able to detect any issue with the component of your car so as a result they will tend to damage with the time and it can make harm to your vehicle okay so to save your life uh, ignoring uh, some of the dashboard lights are actually very dangerous so if you continue to ignore and keep driving you will only putting your life in a danger because okay for example you can say that if you keep ignoring the airbag sign and unfortunately you fail pre uh, the major accident you will not save you uh, because your airbags will not actually function during the accident okay so in conclusion we can say that never ignore uh, dashboard warning lights so in short paying the attention to car's dashboard is not just good for your car but also for your life and property okay many people tends to ignore this dashboard signs due to their laziness lack of time due to the financial constraint okay but in the longer run their ignorance brings them more in trouble then they could actually imagine okay so with this discussion i hope you are able to understand the dashboard signs better take the necessary steps and uh, you can also understand that what are the different lights and what are the main reasons of this light turning on okay so that's it in today's video we have discussed all the major dashboard warning lights and signals which are indicating on the dashboard in this session i wish you got the clear idea about this therefore if you have any more to know or have any specific query please let me know i will surely try to respond as soon as possible okay i hope you like this video thank you so much stay tuned goodbye